Hey guys, this is Tech Extreme, and today I'm going to be showing you 10 ways to optimize Windows 10 on a virtual machine. So the first one is to make sure you have VMware tools installed. So to do this, you go into VM, and here I would say install VMware tools, it will give you a prompt, click install, then go into Windows Explorer and double click on VMware tools. I'm going to put this in full screen. It will prompt you VMware launch stage, VMware installation launcher, just click yes. Then it will just load up the VMware tools installation application. Okay, so it has now loaded up I believe. So I'm gonna click here and all you have to do is just keep clicking next. And if you want to just click complete if you're planning to run this on different VMware softwares but I'm just going to click typical because I'm only going to be using it on workstation so you're just going to leave it in store okay so it has now finished so we're just going to click on finish and just click yes to restart Okay, so after it has restarted, the next thing you're going to want to do is basically change your power settings to high performance. So to do this, press the start button, type in here, power options, go into your system and security, and go into power options, I don't know why they got rid of that power options search button there. But all you gotta do really is just click on this button which shows all the additional plans and click on high performance. Once you've done that just close out of it, open up the start menu again and just restart. Okay, so now that it's loaded up, the next thing you're going to want to do is defragment your hard drive. So to do this, just press Windows button and E, and you shall open up the Windows Explorer. And basically all you got to do is click on this PC, right click, on local disk and click properties. And all you gotta do from there is click on tools, click optimize and defragment drives, and just click analyze. And as you can see, even from just installing Windows 10, there's still 12% fragmentation. So next thing you're going to want to do is click on Optimize and just let it do its thing. Okay, so it has now finished the fragment in it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to close out this mean all of it and just restart it. Okay so now that is finished loading up the next thing we're going to want to do is disable startup programs and you'd be surprised how many come with a freshly installed Windows 10. So just right click and click on task manager and it should load up there first now. I'm gonna try to do that again. Task manager and there we are, it is loaded up, so just click on more details, go into startup, and as you can see, all these um, things that make the startup process very, very, very slow, 
and it slows down your computer too. Like I, as you can see the VMware tools core service. I know that's an important thing, but it's slowing down the computer, so we don't really need it. We only needed it for it to install its drivers and stuff. So we're just going to disable that, but if we ever needed to load it up, we can easily just load it up by pressing the start menu and typing in VMware. And it should just pop up there. And anyways, we, we just don't really need it, to be honest. So once you've done that as well, if you just restart your computer, that would be good. So, I'm gonna come back once it's finished doing its restart. Okay, so it's now finished up loading up from the restart. So, what we're gonna do next is we're going to change basically the graphical animation because that slows down the computer as well, believe it or not. So just type in control panel from the start menu. No, we don't want Contrick. Don't know how it got that. Maybe it's trying to speak in Polish or something like that. If it doesn't mean control Ponyk in Polish, sorry, Polish people. So um just click in system and security, click on system. And from there, click Advanced System Settings. From here, just click underneath Performance. You click on Settings and just click Adjust for Best Performance. Click Apply. Click OK. Click OK. And there we are. That's how you speed up Windows 10 on a virtual machine. So I know I didn't show you 10 ways, but I showed you at least 5. So that's how you do it. If you guys like this, give it a like. If you didn't like it, give it a dislike. Comment down below for more suggestions and I hope to see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe also. This is Tech Extreme signing out.